Okay, this is going to be part two of the little RC series here. And we're moving on to my second favorite thing about RC. Tools, number one. I know I'm a little weird, um, but I really like tools. And the second favorite is the radio. I've chosen the M11X. I've had all of them in the past, you know, up until five years ago. I've had the 3PK. I've had the Helios. I had the uh, old style KO that uh, everybody loved, which I like that one too. Uh, started out with a high tech. It was a piece of junk. Sorry if you have a high tech. It, my experience was it was just a piece of crap. Um, I also worked part time at a hobby shop for about five uh, during my whole racing, you know, little shindig there. I, I worked part time at a hobby shop and uh, we kind of had a lot of problems with high tech servos, wooden center. They probably changed by now, but that's just my experience. So here's the radio. I've already got it out of the box. Um, and radio, don't base it off of anybody's opinion. Here it is. Uh, I always favored the M M8, and that's what I ran with the DSM. I had the little conversion. I had an M11 as well. Here's the receiver. You can see it's, I don't have real big hands, and it's, it's, it's tiny. Um, but radio, you know, uh, my least favorite to hold, honestly, was the Helios, the KO Helios. Awesome radio, um, but I didn't like, I, it just did not feel comfortable. I've always been comfortable with the M8, M11 style radios. Uh, the difference between, like, this one uh, the M11X and the M M11, I should say, or M8. M11, uh, it's, a, it's a little slower response, supposedly. Again, I don't know. I've been out of this forever. Uh, this is a little lighter. That I do know. I remember kind of what it feels like. This is a little lighter. Um, so this is really not a whole review on the radio. I do love the feel of it. I haven't used it yet. So, But if it performs anything like the M11 and M8, I'll love it. Um, another reason why I went with a little bit more expensive, you know, the M11X, there's no conversion that you have to do, which I had done in my M8 um, with the, the Spectrum DSM. It's already, you know, it's already built into their, their system here, and I like the clean look of that. I didn't like the, uh, you know, you could clean it up with the, uh, cutting it off and a cap in the back, but still, I'm all about, uh, I like things clean and tidy. Um, so that's really about it for the radio. Um, like I said, I've had them all. This feel is, you know... I love the feel of this radio, and you can convert it to left hand. Um, you've got to take some screws out and whatnot. Not a big deal. I have not read the manual on it yet, so I don't know a lot about it. I do like the fact that it has this little cover. You don't have to worry about it getting scratched up. And I think they have that uh, for the M11 as well. This one actually came with it. So, uh, again, not a review. I haven't used it yet, but uh, just general rule of thumb. You know, if somebody says, oh, you know, the KO is the best, try them out. Um, like the KO, I just could not, you know, I had the extension, the drop down, everything. I could not get used to that radio. Um, but a lot of people love it. And it is an awesome radio, so don't get me wrong. So don't base your opinions off of everybody else's opinions. Uh, RC Tech's a great site, but you got a lot of one sided views. You know, everybody's, oh, KO is the best. Uh, you know, uh, Sandline Air Techniques is the best. Or, you know, High Tech's the best. Kyoshi is the best. You know, whatever. Futaba is the best. Um, that's just their opinions. I mean, a lot of people have had bad luck and good luck with all the manufacturers, so keep that in mind. Don't uh, base your decision off somebody else's decision. So there it is, and uh, next up, uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what else we get on here. So uh, this, that'll be it for this video, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, have a great one.